Hello, I'm President Tom Katsuleas, and I'm reaching out today to provide you with some critical information about our plans for the fall semester. First, our goal. Our mission is to provide the best possible educational and campus experience while also protecting the health of our community. That means we're coming back, but not back to normal. The state of Connecticut has established criteria we have to meet in order to welcome students, faculty, and staff back to campus safely. Now, what does that mean in real terms? Well, for starters, it means our first day of classes will be August 31st, and our last day of in-person classes will be the Friday before Thanksgiving break. The final two weeks of the semester, including final exams, will be conducted remotely. During the semester, we'll offer a range of class modalities, including remote, in-person, and a blend of the two. Our classroom spaces will be modified to allow six feet of separation between people, and students and faculty members who want an exclusively online semester will be able to have that option. Our residence halls will have reduced density, and there will be a new housing assignment process. Students don't need to reapply for housing, however. Students who will be living on campus in Storrs or Stanford will be required to return two weeks before the start of classes to allow for testing and a period of quarantine. So, campus is going to feel a lot different, but it's also going to look a lot different. Here's one way. Expect to see a lot of this everywhere you go. Masks will be required in public common spaces, including classrooms. We have purchased enough masks to supply our entire community and are ready to provide alternatives for those who can't wear masks because of a medical condition. In the weeks to come, you'll be receiving more communications from us as we add detail to our plans for the fall. In particular, students should be on the lookout for information about what we're calling the One Yukon Campaign, a pledge to keep our community safe and healthy. And of course, we'll be doing our best to answer whatever questions may arise in the meantime. In closing, I wish you and all your loved ones good health and a summer full of promise. Remember that the climb to the top of the mountain is hard, but the view from the summit is worth the journey. Thank you and I'll see you in the fall. Go Huskies.